I've also got some bass guitar here, which I played in earlier. Open up the advanced dynamics again. Select sidechain in and select kick as the trigger. Begin adjusting the gate. So you can hear it affecting the bass now. Of course you could always use the compressor or expander settings if you want to um, get a slightly different response. There are some handy presets you can use as a starting point. Although this gated effect is quite good if you need to tighten up the bass guitar and the kick. And side chaining it in this way allows you to be a bit more precise in your adjustments. So that's the kick drum feeding the side chain to affect the bass guitar. Another possible scenario would be to add menu item insert new track new sub mix bus there it is open up the mixer i'm going to disable the existing dynamics processors so i'll right click on pad one to open up the track options root pad one to sub mix bus one pad two bass to sub mix one And finally, saw base. Open up the trusty ammunition again. Make sure it's set to external source. Wind up the level to around three o'clock. Set the side chain input. Make sure it's set to kick as the source track. And now I'll solo bus one. Turn on the optical compressor, bring the threshold down, slope up and response down. So you can hear the bus being affected. Solo pad one. Pad two, bass, and saw bass. You can see that an aux send has been created. I turn it down, nothing happens, and then as I turn it up, the bus is being affected by the side chain hitting the compressor. One thing I should mention, you know that the kick is the source to the side chain, so what happens when you decide you need to mute the kick sometime in the arrangement? The problem will arise that the side chain will no longer be receiving that muted trigger signal. So you can hear it's no longer being affected. But as soon as I unmute it, you can hear the effect returns, pulsing away. But don't worry, there is a solution for this. I'm going to go ahead and freeze the kick drum. Freeze track. There it goes. That's turned it into a hard copy. So it's still sending to the side chain of the bus. I'll mute it now so nothing's happening. So the solution would be to do this. Add an extra track below the kick. Control copy the kick to the new track. Select track one and pull the fader all the way down. Mute the new kick. So you can hear the original kick is still triggering the side chain, although you can't hear the kick now because the fader's down. 
so I'll unmute the new kick and the bass drum is back. So for example, you may decide you want to mute the drums between bars 9 and 11. So draw in a range, hit T, then press mute, hit play. So the drums are muted, but as you can hear the side chain is still working. So that covers all the things I intended to tell you, plus a bit more about setting up side chain in Samplitude. The most important thing to remember is that you have the kick, or whatever source track you're going to use, above the target track, or to the left in the mixer chain. Also, there's no particular reason why you should limit yourself to just one source send. You can add as many as are available, really. If you click on the sidechain menu here, there's no reason why you can't add the snare and the hats to feed the sidechain as well. You can hear the extra trigger sources now. Spices it up a bit. New auxiliary sends have been created for the snare and hats. Another scenario which would work would be to route the bass guitar to the bus. Right click on the ammunition plugin again. Deselect snare, hats, and get rid of the kick. And route purely the bass through the side chain. Solo the bus and see what happens. Yes, you can hear it. Bring up the auxiliary send a bit. So now all the pads are being modulated by the bass guitar. In fact, come to think of it, the bass is probably modulating the bass on the bus. And so on and so forth. Anyway, I hope this has whetted your appetite a bit and has given you insight into using side chaining in Samplitude. It's pretty straightforward to set up once you get the hang of it. So until next time, I'll say goodbye. Cheers for now.